more. Hi, I'm Reverend Diane from Unity of Naples, and our daily word for Sunday was mentors. It's this beautiful image, I don't know if you can see it, of, of two souls who are in this heavenly consciousness able to see the truth of who each one of them is. And of course, they're the light of the world. Each and every one of us is the light of the world, and yet we don't always shine in that way. So we have mentors in our lives. Jesus is like the go-to mentor for us in unity. And we as first century Christians, you know, really see that his teachings and his way of living is what we're here to emulate. And master teachers have been teaching us that forever. The Christ in us or the, the nature, the very original good of us tells us what it is that we're to do to stay in light. And this is a really a time when we need to have our mentors, people who encourage us and enthuse us and help us remember the truth of who we are. Because there's a lot going on. This week we're in the eye of the storm of the election, if you will. And so it's a time for us to know what to do. When judgment comes up or opinions come up on, on any side of any imagined fence between us, because this is all the United States of America going forward, moving from this place to that place, from a sitting president to our next president. And during this time, this shift, um, we're encouraged to remember that there is a holy instant when that which is taking is ending, if you will, and that which is beginning hasn't yet happened. There hasn't been that shift yet. So it's this poignant moment, this time, when we feel that spin going on of the seeming storm for us to really be still and to, in that place, do our work, our spiritual work, fasten our spiritual seatbelts, if you will, and really know the truth. So there's an opportunity for you and for me this week, today, tomorrow, to bless everyone. There are no sides. We're all wanting the same thing. We're all wanting to live in a place where we experience peace, where everyone has freedom, where we are all economically in a place where we can afford healthy uh food and nutritious beverages and to live in a way that honors life itself and honors Mother Earth as well. So when you find yourself hearing things or going in perhaps into a spin yourself or hearing someone go into a spin, it's an opportunity for you to bless them. It's what Jesus did. It's what all the master teachers have always done. Just to stop, look at what's taking place, see it, lift your eyes, Give thanks to God and bless them. As Jesus said in his final words, bless them for they know not what they do. They're calling you and they're calling me to, to really to know the truth in that time so that we can be set free and be in that sort of what has been referred to as the lost mode of prayer. Be in that high state of consciousness in which we're not lost at all. We're found. We remember the kingdom. And remember that each one of us is a soul. Sometimes we come in a way that seems uh, hmm, to test us, maybe to give us something to forgive or something to know the, what's really going on around. In that time of being tested by another soul, just recognize they're your mentor. They are helping guide you so that your response will be a positive response, that you will know how to vote and that your vote will count. And that, because you make a difference, you're special in this world. So thank you so much for holding our United States up in that way. This week and throughout our lives, we can you be in, invited, know that we're being invited by Rumi, the Sufi poet, to just go into that place beyond wrong doing and right doing, into the field of blessedness, into that place of light, whether this or that doesn't pertain at all. It's that we are one in that place and meet each other there. And then we'll go forward. The vote will take place. We will move forward as a nation. And we have checks and we have balances. But to stay in the Christ presence and consciousness during this time, that's a call. May God be your mentor. And may you encourage and help others go to God to be mentored in this week and every day of your life as we move forward, one breath at a time. In Christ's name. God bless you. Have a glorious week.